part two. This is where we ended last time. And as I look at this over here and this over here, I think I'd like to move my image below the headline. So I'm going to cut and paste there. So this feels like a better order of things for me. Now I have this paragraph right there is here. And here's the second one. And I think rather than uh, backtracking too much, I'll go ahead and make a few changes. I know that this looks like it's bold and italic. So that means to me, instead of a P tag, it should be probably H4. I want that to be lowercase. And you notice how when I change this to H4, the N tag automatically changed. That's because of this extension called auto rename tag. Isn't that handy? So if you change the front part, then the back end will change as well. Now I'm going to add the italics. And you see here how I'm sandwiching. H4 is on the outside. And then on the inside is the italics. And I'll come back later once I figure out what that brown color is of the text. I'll come back later and make it brown. And I'll show you how to put the image side by side with these two paragraphs. So let me change this one to H4 and give it an EM tag. Same thing here. All right, so now I've got this box done. And I need to, do you remember the slides that I showed you? I need to put this in a table. So it's these two paragraphs that are in one cell and this image that is in the other cell. We'll start with the table tag. I'm going to start it there and end it here. So you can see here's my table. Doesn't look like anything yet, but I know that I need one row, just like in the slideshow. So that's a TR tag. And I'm going to end it here. And I need two table data tags, one for this half of the row and one for this half. So let's do table data, TD. That's the start, and here's the end. And then I'll do another TD start and a TD end after the second paragraph. There we go. There's the my indication that I need to save, so I'll do a save. And let's see what it looks like. I think I have it still open. So here's what I have. This text is beside that image. There's a lot more that needs to happen here in formatting, but that will happen. I could go back and format the rest of this with some lists. This is going to have a unordered list there. This is going to have an ordered list here. And look over here at number seven. I've got an unordered list nested inside this ordered list. That's what gives it the extra indent. But before I do that, I'm going to uh, pick my colors. So I've been to, let's see, I believe I took you all to this website before, W3Schools HTML Colors. And which one do I want to, I'll go to the color names and see if I can find that. Could it be corn silk? It could be. I'm really not. Could it be khaki? Could it be lemon chiffon? I guess it would be easiest if we could see that, right? There it is. Light goldenrod yellow. Oh, there's so many colors to choose from. And I'm not sure which one. Oh, it looks like it could be moccasin. Look, I'll just copy moccasin. 
That's going to be the background color of my table. So BG color equals save. Now let's look at that and see what it looks like. Yeah, that looks like a pretty close match. Um, you might be wondering though, why is this yeah, why is this red? Because usually when Visual Studio Code shows you something in red, that means there's something wrong with the tag. And I'll tell you what's wrong with it. What's wrong with it is that this style has been deprecated. And I'll talk a little bit about that in a while, but I'll show you some other styles that are deprecated and why the center tag. And I want my table to be centered, so I will put the center tag above and below the table. Save. Now let's see what that's looking like. Well, you can't really tell it's centered because I don't have any margins. Let's give it some margins. Table, uh, I'll give it a width. That should take care of it. W-I-D-T-H equals, uh, let's try 600 pixels. Save. So you can see it's kind of working out. I think the image ought to be smaller. And actually, I would like this to be centered too. So I'm going to take my center tag and move it above the H1 so that that's included in the items that center. And I think I should make the image smaller. So let's give it a width. Where's the image? We also need to give it an alt tag. Width equals, I don't know what's going to be great, but if this is 600, then the image should probably be less than 300. So I'll say 250. Save. All right, things are starting to look a little bit like this, right? Just a little bit. Now that I'm looking at this, this looks a little more butterscotchy and that looks a little more yellow. I'll find out the real color soon. But what I'd like to say is, uh, oh, let's add one more style tag. Do you see how this should be a dark brown and it should be a different font? Look at that font. Let's take care of the H1 so that the top of the website looks really good. H1 style equals uh, font family semicolon and let's go down to Verdana. Save. That looks good. Now let's give it a color. We need to end the style with a semicolon. And now I can do color, colon. Uh, oh, it's hard to find the right color. Peru, no. Saddle brown, that looks close. Let me do a save. All right, it's looking pretty close. Let's try that same color. Where is it? Saddle brown, right there. Let's copy that and put it on the H4. Style equals color settle brown. Let's put it on this one too. I'm just going to copy it to make it easy. Copy and paste. Save. All right, it's looking pretty good. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to pause this video now and what I would like for you to do, and I'll do it while it's paused also, is try to see how well you can format the rest of it copying what we did. And I'll just give you a hint. What we're going to do here is look at what this says. That's this section, so that means we're starting a whole new table, right? I'm going to take this center tag and cut it and just put it at the bottom because I think everything needs to be centered. And then just for indicators, I could say this is going to be a table start tag. And it's going to end after one, two, three, 
four bulleted items. Let's see, that's one, two, three, four, and two images. So that's where I'll end this next table. And of course, I'll choose one row again. And then in the first row will be all of this. I mean, the first cell. In the second cell will be images two and three. So I'm going to format this, and I'm going to let you format it on your own, and then we'll come back and take a look at it.